There are certain fucking things I just need to know. I've been good. I've been fucking ragged in quite some time. I have decided to utilize that thing called patience. Understanding. Patience and understanding. Got a question. Got a couple questions. But I'll ask this one question. You can comment on it if you want. What the fuck is the statute of limitations on fucking patience? Huh? What is it? Do you know? You know? Is it 10 minutes? Is it 10 days? Is it fucking 10 months? Is it 10 years? What's the story? Or is it 10 fucking seconds? Or does the level of fucking patience that you have to put towards something matter because of the validity or whatever it is you're trying to do has so much value that you would place more patience on it? Is there a constant level of patience that you have to adhere to? Or does it fucking actually have to be customized to fit the situation? Well, I would think that the latter would be mostly true because certain things don't require, that you know, certain things don't have as much value to you. So if they don't fucking happen, you're like, ah, fuck it. Then when things with value fucking come up and something fucks you, or like, I shouldn't be here right now. I should get poked and prodded in my ass cake. I should be on a fucking mat as we fucking speak. Over at the Kessler Institute. But because I'm a jerk off and I broke my fucking neck. And when I did, I lost fucking everything. Alright? That means my ability to get from point A to point B whenever the fuck I want. That's now left in the hands of some fucking jerk off fucking transport company. That fucks me time and time again. Was I patient? Yes, I was. I didn't lose my mind to whomever the fuck was on the phone. Because why? The fuck? It's not their fucking fault. Although I wasn't patient, but I was patient with them. When I spoke to the supervisor, should it have been a good idea for me to fucking completely lose my shit? Well, let's think about this. Were they, were they responsible for picking me up? Were they responsible for fucking... No, they ain't responsible for dick. There's no value in me losing my shit to that person. And also, supervisor, how the fuck do I know the chick didn't go, Yeah, here, I'll give you a supervisor. There you go. Waste of fucking oxygen. One of the judgments that you have to deal with when it comes to patience and things of that nature is when that you, your patience can either be rewarded, which is wonderful, and believe me, fucking hey, you can believe your fucking self. If you're a motherfucker, cut the shit, even the fucking wind is pissing me off today. Ugh. When the thing you're looking to achieve, is outside of your scope of ability or whatever form of ability that you need, you know, and you need to, I don't know, do A, B, or C, whatever the fuck it is. You find yourself in a point where you, the person who's going to be doing or receiving whatever it is, you know, whatever benefit or whatever the fuck it is that you need, you know, either a question answered, a task performed, whatever the fuck it is, whatever it might fucking be, and you make the proper planning, you pay the proper price, you uh, speak to the right people, you do, you do, you do, you do. Whatever the fuck it is you need to do, you fulfill your side of the obligation. And then the other part of the obligation falls on whomever it may be. They don't uphold their end. Where does your patience have to stop? Now, the big problem when you do not, I mean, you get what you want, because pretty much we all have wants. We have needs. When your patience for your needs give up, 
and you're disappointed with whomever, whatever entity is supposed to take care of that shit. That's really what it is. It's disappointment. And that's apathy. And that's fucking pathetic. And the person that did whatever it was or did not do whatever the fuck it was that was unbeneficial to you at one point in time is complete and total fucking bullshit. And they should go fucking die, motherfuckers. I don't know what your, your level of patience is or whatever your patience is not. But believe it or not, I know that, yes, angry quads. What type of patience do you have? I got the motherfucking patience of a fucking god. I swear to God. Story for another day. Dealing with disappointment. Very difficult. You have fucking your own inner demons. Look. Got some fucking little chuchi moths coming by, it seems. Look at that, babe. Oh, yeah, it's all about, it's all pretty much one of the robots. These are the people that I call robots. More times than not, it's not all the time, but I would say 75%. It's women, they're out for a walk, and they obviously have a little ear plug or some shit or butt plug or whatever the fuck they are plugging. And they're just walking down the street talking like, ah, la, 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 la. And it's a weird thing because, don't get me wrong, I, it's a great use of time. Fantastic, wonderful, that's great. You don't sound like a fucking jerk off, just so you know. What the fuck? I'll leave you with this one. As far as training and well being is concerned, I saw a meme the other day, sort of like a cartoony thing. And it really put it into perspective, and it was so simple, didn't need any patience to figure this one out. And it was about bettering yourself or making it so you're consistently worse. A lot of times you will talk to people when it comes to working out or following a little bit more of a healthy lifestyle. Hey, don't get me wrong, all right? I am not fucking Jack O'Lane. I am body and embrace to his fucking philosophy, but I fucking don't exactly hit the point because the guy's out of fucking mind, that's why. He was a god amongst fucking men. But think about this. I'll leave you with this. Guy goes to his doctor. And, you know, he said, Hey, doc, you know, I'm a little overweight and shit like that. You know, uh, what do you think? He was, the doctor goes, you know, because the guy is looking for a magic fucking pill. I ain't bang, I'm going to be done. I'm going to be perfectly fine. And the doctor just basically goes like this. Well, you know what? Perhaps maybe uh, a little bit of uh, more of a healthy lifestyle, you know? Fresh air, sunshine, eat right, exercise. Guy goes, I don't really have time to exercise. So the doctor looks at him and he goes, he goes, ah, okay. Interesting. So, you don't have one hour a day to exercise. Guy goes, I really don't. He goes, well, then it's really out of our hands because I would imagine you, if you don't have that much time, you probably have at least 24 hours a day to be fucking dead. I don't see any reason to argue with that. Leave a comment. Use your brain, use your body.